Hey guys, welcome back. This is Anthony Tata, your local Orlando realtor. And today we are here in this bungalow style home in Apaca in Winding Bay by Pulte Homes. And this is a schooner model. Now it's a four bedroom, three bathroom, loft and flex room, two car garage. Again, it's a bungalow, so it's rear loaded, right? And it's 2,565 square feet of home. Now, this home is priced at the time of video at $451,990. That is not including lot and options, but the HOA is $118 a month, and that does include one gig high-speed internet cable with 75 channels and a pool and cabana. No CDD, guys. Awesome. Now, this is a great home. If you can, hit the subscribe and alert buttons down below because we do appreciate it. My number is 407 790 0929 and let's go see this model hey guys so here we are at the front of the schooner and as you can see most of the front of the home is taken up by a front porch which i do like i mean mr and mrs watching out watching the other neighbors drill or whatever they're doing over there <laughs> but we do have a front uh, with manicured landscaping love that the of course the garage is at the rear of the home as is a bungalow style but i do like the slats in the home the peaks also lots of windows on the top floor about five and two here on the bottom and another two right behind on the porch area now as we get up to the porch area we do have these decorative beams love that right and then we come in it is a really good uh, porch area to sit down enjoy watch what's going on in the front of your house and tell that guy hey stop drilling come on we're doing a video over here. <laughs> now, we got a gray door, Pam, today. Oh, Look at that. that's a first. Yeah, that's different. GFCI for your Christmas lights here, right? We do have the Schlang push lock right here, the combo lock. And let's go in and check out the rest of this home. All right, guys. So as we come into this model, just know that it's highly upgraded, starting with these gorgeous floors. This is a high level floor, right? It's those rectangular wood faux looking uh, tile floors. I think this, is this LTV? This yes, I think LTV. it is, because yeah. I don't see any grout lines. Yeah, so this is LTV actually, but it's still that the type of LTV that you feel like that faux wood grain in it. Now, talking about that, we have a flex room here on the left of the front door with two windows for natural lighting. Look how much space you have in here. You can have like two big bookshelves obviously a desk and a seat and Pam what are these called again I think they're Capetian shelves Capetian shelves so imagine sitting here maybe you know on your computer screen watching the beach and just <laughs> that's a pretty cool sound we were playing with it earlier but here's the two windows for natural lighting here's your sill Pam what's the size of this 12 by 10 12 by 10 now guys you can leave it open like this as the builder is showing you now, or you can put French doors here or a singular door here. It's your option to do what you want with this as soon as you get to design center. So just a little piece of knowledge there. Now guys, we move forward and then there's a little hallway here that dips in before we go to the rest of the home. So let's start with your little linen closet. And then Pam's gonna show you the fully um, usable bath here with the pendant lighting mirror you have a stone top gray cabinetry and then you have nice subway tile in the bathtub set about six seven feet up very nice with a high hop on top and the 20 by 20 tiles on the flooring now to go ahead Pam to the right of here we have another bedroom or, or the first bedroom actually two more windows right here knee height for natural lighting fits a full-size bed easily a credenza seating area and then we got a half step in closet and pam what was the size this is a 10 by 12. 10 by 12. very nice nice for the guests right it's just good big enough for them to stay for disney and then go home <laughs> exactly <laughs> we have a large opening in the hallway here right and we do have harry potter's little room over here so Pam is going to go on an adventure. We do have a turn corner in here. Oops. <laughs> oh, it goes ar around too. It goes, no way, really? Yeah. Oh, that's where you stick the Christmas tree. All yeah, the way ducked it. in. 
Yeah. Fortunately, I'm short enough to get on. Yeah, that wouldn't have been me. I would have got stuck over there at the back end. <laughs> yeah, I need a dolly to go back around there. <laughs> so here we are. The, the home opens all the way up, guys. We have this uh, informal dining area uh, with one light bulb. That's all you get. Let, let, let me turn that off because that's not even worth it. <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh the builder's trying to save energy guys that's what's going on <laughs> we have a window here and that's good because we don't need the lighting we have the natural lighting from these two windows here on the back side we have about a six seater table that fits easily you can actually put a bigger table here i can see it because look how yeah, much because space. you have all the way to here yeah you have all the way out so you can actually put an eight or ten seater table and you will still not have an issue i like the mirror it's really big <laughs> But, a little too big for me. Yeah. <laughs> but guys, we roll on into our living room set. And I like the choices they made with the furniture. So starting with the seating, we have this beautiful cadenza it has. This TV, now now, now they're talking with this tiny of TV. That's, this is, we went to the other model and I was like, mm, but this is a good TV. <laughs> 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 now, I love the feature wall that they did here. They did a great job, right? And then you have those two couches that's making an L shape. But they're two big regular couches here. And what is the spacing for this? The whole spacing. So from that wall. With the two windows. To the dining table. To the dining area. Okay. Is 23 by 18. 23 by 18 of entertainment space in this home. Not including the kitchen, guys. So people can sit in areas and still talk to each other. I love that. The fan in the middle. Good choice. But let's roll on in to your kitchen area now. Now, guys. This is what Pam likes to call a functioning island because there's no sink in the middle, right? Correct. And you can do your kneading and your doughing and well, all that. Well, no, if you have like banquet style yeah. food, you just put food around, people just keep walking around. This and is get true. It. This is true. So for graduations and all that on holidays, just throw the food here and go ahead, eat. <laughs> Don't tell me to serve. Here's the plates. Here's the Just put bumpers here that it doesn't slide <laughs> that the off. The kids don't slide off, right? <laughs> <laughs> but guys, this is a great island. It's really big. How big is this island? Eight by four. Eight by four fits three comfortably, maybe even two on the side, which would be six people sitting down comfortably if there isn't a banquet style. But if it's a morning breakfast and you don't want the kids to dirty the dining room, boom. Now we do have cabinets all on the bottom, right? And you're going, Anthony, where the heck is the, you know, the dishwasher? Well, guys, it's next to this big sink that we have here, right? It's a deep sink with the gooseneck by the window. Nice. And if you roll on down, here's your dishwasher, which makes sense, right? Sink, dishwasher. I don't like sink, 12 yards away, dishwasher. <laughs> but I do love the subway towel in the herringbone pattern that wraps this whole area. Go ahead, Pam. So from that edge of the counter mm -hmm. to the corner is 10 feet. 10 feet. And then from that corner to the range is five feet. Okay. And then from the range to here is 30 inches. Okay, so that's 15 and 30 inches of Correct. counter space, which is really good, guys. You got lots of more serving area. I'm thinking coffee goes over there, right? You blend over there. You know, do as you will, it's your house, right? But at least you have the space for it. Now we have 36 inch cabinets with crown molding. We did skip the fridge and the um, pantry. So Pam, you want to show that before we keep going? Pantry's right here. So it's the closet pantry. But guys, do not fret. We have, look at all these cabinets, all these cabinets and this cabinet here. So lots of cabinetry here and on the bottom. I'm, I'm forgetting the bottom. We have the bottoms too, right? So they have crown molding on the top. Very nice shaker style. We do have our microwave. And then we have a gas range, guys. Gas range with the oven here. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Now, we're gonna have to move on and we get to our patio door from the kitchen and the living room area and we come outside. And we have our covered lanai space before our two car garage. So there is still a hangout area here where right from the kitchen on a nice cool day, you can serve some drinks, margaritas out here. Everybody's hanging out and it's all covered. It can come pouring down and you still have space. What happened, Pam? It's 30 feet long by nine wide. Oh, so it's nine wide by 30 feet yes. long. So 30 by those two chairs. Yep. I love those chairs there, by the way. Right? A cool I like day. this whole area because it's, yeah. it's usable. It's like a breezeway. Yeah, it's yeah. usable though. Yeah. 
and I love the chairs being at the end of the bridge. That's where I will be sitting on a nice cool day. <laughs> now, the garage is locked. The builder was like, no, you know what a garage looks like. Sorry, guys. But just to uh, stoke your imagination, it's a two-car garage. Then you have a driveway. And then you have a back street where you put your garbage at. So the front always looks nice and tidy. So let's go out or in, <laughs> rather, to the stairways, guys. And as I go up the stairs, I'm going to let you know what's around the area. All right, guys, as we go up the stairs, Publix is literally two minutes away from this location. Downtown Winter Garden is 23 minutes. Disney and all the parks for Disney, about 25 minutes. And MCO Orlando Airport is 34 minutes from this very All right, location. guys, so getting to the upstairs area of this home, as soon as we get to the upstairs area and to the right is the loft space. Now, before we talk about the loft space, you can see that we have a pony wall here, right? And then we have a pony wall on the other side of the stairway as well. Well, guys, when you go to Design Center, you can possibly have the option of turning this into railing so it opens up the space more, especially coming from that window on the stairs. You'll have more natural light coming from both areas of the loft, which is really gives it a more fresh and grand feel. Now, this loft area, as you can see, has a big old L couch here, coffee table, three windows for natural lighting, love the fan, good size TV, and a cadenza here. Now, Pam, what are we talking about here? 11 by 15. 11 by 15, guys, is the size of this loft space, so that's fantastic. Also, we're not going to go down that way where Pam's at right now. We're going to go here where we have a little split-off hallway. We have two rooms and a bathroom. So let's check out this fully function bathroom first, which has the pendant lighting, the mirror. We have the dual vanity, sinks, stone top, white cabinetry. And then we have the 21 by 21 tile. Then facing the tub area, we have subway tile matching the downstairs bathroom. That goes about six, seven feet up. Very nice. And then we have a deep linen closet here. I missed that totally. <laughs> the, the, oh, the linen closet? Yep, missed it totally. <laughs> so then coming out of that bathroom, I missed that wall. <laughs> we have to the left a nursery where we have two windows for natural lighting. Very cutesy, but you can also fit a full-size bed here easily, right? But with the nursery, the seating area, a little nice stand on both sides, and a dresser. But we have a half-step-in closet right here. Very nice, and it's open on both sides. And the window, again, for the natural lighting. And the princess chandelier, I look at that. that. <laughs> Very nice, guys. All right, now head out, and in the same little hallway, we're gonna go across where we go to Gilligan's Island, guys. Look at this. So we have this little cute setup for the little little man of the home, right? His little Gilligan setup. This is setup. adorable, I'm sorry. <laughs> right, you get it. a nice little bed for the little champ of the home and then the professor and Marianne. <laughs> <laughs> then we have a window for natural lighting, a very nicely functional drawer, Big old circle mirrors, which is very popular now, and then a half step in closet as well. How big? And both bedrooms are 10 by 10. 10 by 10, very nice. I love the, I love the creativity that they've done in this home. It really, really is nice. Now, I just wanna mention this is a very wide hallway. Coming up to the laundry room right here on my right. So we have the laundry room, has a little uh, window on the back side, but then you have your washer and dryer with a wire shelf on the back end there, right? And then that 21 by 21 towel follows you through. We have the breaker for the home here, and then your data panel as well. And if you're hearing a humming, that is your utility closet that's tucked away here in the, in the uh, laundry room as well. Now we roll in to the primary, sorry about that. <laughs> Now we have a grand primary. It almost looks like those, uh, what yeah, do you call those? Yeah, it's the same Capesian. Capesian, uh, what are they, Capesian? Shell. Shells, yeah. There you go. That, that, it's a different design, but almost the same. That's pretty cool. King size bed, let's go. Now they have the same feature wall as they did downstairs in the living room on the back end here between those two windows, which is really nice. But I do love the nice stands. And then we have a corner pocket window here so it's like i love that the one two and the third one because it looks like this whole side of the corner of the of the primary is open 
So I love that fresh air coming in. But we also have two nice lounge chairs up here. Are these leather? Yeah, yeah, they're like suede. Oh, nice. Yeah, then we have, now I don't know why those are there. Maybe just to put your shoes on, but I would replace that mirror with a TV because those are cool chairs. And just for your shoes, that's not good enough. <laughs> and here we have a drawer, a dresser right here, which is really nice as well. Now go ahead, Pam, what's the... Uh... I'm sorry, I'm laughing. <laughs> this is 13 by 18. 13 by 18 is a good size. I love that. Now we're going to roll on in into our primary bath suite. And as soon as you come in, you see right away our shower stall with that subway tile, a transom window, guys. Look at that. Yeah, that's nice. We have a niche, we have the controls, we have the bottom pan, and the tile goes about six, seven feet up, love that. Then we have the 21 by 21 tiles in all the wet areas like you've seen before. But on this side here, as Pam is showing you, we have the dual vanity, large mirror, pendant lighting, we have the two sinks and the white cabinetry following us from the kitchen area, which is really, really nice. And then we have a linen closet, very deep on the side here, for all your towels and stuff like that. And I'm gonna move out of the way because we have the commode and then the walk-in primary closet area, which Pam is gonna give you the measurements of. Which is 11 by seven. 11 by seven for the primary walk-in. Very, very nice. Guys, that is the schooner here in uh, uh, Paca. Um, if you love this home, give me a call for 07 790 0929 Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor. See you guys on the next video.